Hi you all, I'm Woody Lone, also known as the Creative Globetrotter. I'm traveling the world since December 2014, an ongoing mission to share you my travel experiences. This time I take it close to home and made a road trip from my hometown Breda all the way up through North Germany and West Denmark to Kristiansand, Norway. An amazing journey took me to different cultural and historic cities, windy beaches, meet up some old and new friends and of course see a lot of roads, highways and freeways. Oh yeah, and of course some water. This is a travel guide how to make a road trip through North Germany and South Scandinavia. This is part 2 on my road trip. In this episode I visit the places of Aarhus, Orbo, Tornbuestrand, Hirtshals and Christiansand in Norway. Ok, let's go! I continue my trip from Middelfart to Aarhus, a one and a half hour drive. I passed the place of Kasperkel near Hedenstedt. It brought me good memories of my Denmark visit last year. You can check the video on my Casper Go visit and the summer camp video where I met a lot of Danish friends, did some workshop and sports. I just arrived here in Aarhus. It's a, a typical city port, harbor. Also old town, it's quite a mix around here. It's still uh, really sunny, although it's really hard to walk around here. So I just stay here for one night and I think I have a quite an expensive ticket when I leave Aarhus. <laughs> I'm there in the parking lot. Aarhus is the second largest city of Denmark and is the European capital of culture in 2017 and has a lot to offer. Like in many European cities, they give those industrial buildings like here in Aarhus Harbor another purpose, just like pool courts, cultural exhibitions, shops and even clubs. I stuck in the historical city center with the historical buildings, artistic cultural, shops and boutiques. After a day of walking and some sightseeing, I was waiting for my travel buddy Ed. Ed arrived, just arrived here with his backpack. He's here, backpack, backpack, sleeping bag. So we go to Norway now. Well, in a few days. <laughs> On the final evening in Aarhus, you can take a nice stroll near the docks of the harbor. It was time to go the next day to Orbo. So this was our visit on Aarhus. Now we're heading for Extra Hitch House where we stop in between in Orbo. I don't know how I pronounce it well, so don't send me some comments on that because I don't pronounce it wrong, especially from the Danish guys and girls. So see you there. The trip to Orbo is one and a half hour. The more you travel north, the more wind you have, so you have to take care of your car of a sudden gust of wind, or even from rocks from the road. Uh, maybe you can see it on my window, there's a kind of crack in the window, it just started there when I entered Denmark. <laughs> so I don't know, uh, what do you think about it? What do you think about it, Ed? Um, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. and the wind is still following us up to the city center of Orbo. We're in Orbo and it's really fresh. We have our sweaters on, even it's still cold for us, right? Yeah, put the hoodie on it. Still beautiful, still a lot of wind here. I think we stay here for one hour and then we go. <laughs> Orbo is a nice, small and windy town with a nice historical city center with a lot of bars, restaurants and shops.
After a few hours, we take the car and drove one hour to Tornbu Strand, also known as Tornbu Beach. We are near Tornbu, actually near Hit House, where we have uh, in two or three kilometers. Tomorrow we take the ferry, but we are near the Tornbu Beach and we have a cabin. Well, this is our cabin, but this is a really small cabin. Look at this. This we got the bed, some bags, two windows and a door. <laughs> but it's cool. Seeing the beach in the back. Woo! Then we go tomorrow. See you somewhere in the distance. From Tornbu, it's not that far to Hirtshals, the place where the ferry departs to Christiansand. Hirtshals is a very small town, not much to see or to offer. However, the environment got several interesting things, such like beaches, the lighthouse and the bunker museum nearby. You can visit bunkers of the Second World War, those bunkers were a part of the Atlantic Wall. So, the next day it was time to take the ferry to Norway. From Hirtshals you have several destinations to go, and you have two major ferry companies to go to Christiansand. The color line goes twice a day and takes three and a half hours. And you have the fjord line goes three times a day and takes over two hours. You can imagine we take the fjord line, there is not much price difference between those two. Early in the morning, and we are ahead for Christian Sands. We just uh, checked in with our car, and it's with us. That's our ferry. We go there. So, uh, I feel we're coming to Norway. Early in the morning, we checked in to board the ferry. After we wait for one hour in a specific line, such as cars, toilets, motorcycles, etc., we board on the ferry. Enjoy the ride, to enjoy the power of the ferry, and inside read a book, eat a meal, or take a nap. After disembarking the ferry, we mind Norway is not part of the EU, so when checks or certain occasions permanent checks are very common. So keep your passports and IDs ready. Ah, and take some money with you, because Norway is one of the most expensive countries in Europe. It's not that far to the location in Christiansand we spent 5 days before we head back and drove 1200 km to the Netherlands. What I've experienced in Christiansand you can see in the Summer Camp 2017 video. Just like sports, having fun and a lot of outdoor stuff. But for now, thank you for watching and please subscribe for future travel videos. Feel free to leave a comment or go to my website thecreativeglobeplotter.nl